Smart shoppers never pay full price, but did you know you can get better deals on certain days of the week? Kelly Grant, senior consumer reporter for SmartMoney.com, is here to tell us when to shop and for what? Good morning. Good morning. This has got everybody in the studio buzzing, and everybody is talking about this home. Well, so certain days for certain things. Is that really true? It really is. Retailers know exactly when people are likely to shop for something, so they'll use sales to drive traffic on slow days, or if they know you're likely to go in, to really get you to go there instead of the competition. Right. I was looking at uh, like the sales receipt out of a Gap bag the other day, and mm -hmm. it said like uh, everything off on Wednesday or who knows what. I mean, some certain re retailers are. Really really focusing in on this. They really are. And some of them, too, it's not just a matter of when they want you to shop, but it's when they don't want you to go that can also be the better deal. All right. We're going to walk all, th all the way through this in certain days of the week that really seem to be better than others for certain purchases. And you say Monday is a great day for cars. Exactly. Cars, perfect on Mondays, because when you go in during the weekend, that's the really high traffic time. Right. You're, you're going to find it very hard to negotiate, because the, the they know that if you're not going to buy that car, so Someone else the right dealership is full of people. That's when people have time. That's when exactly. in there, in there, they're kicking tires. <laughs> I, you go in on a Monday, I bet you're all by yourself. Exactly. And that's why it's a perfect time to negotiate because you've got time. They're looking at those weekend numbers. Maybe if they weren't so great or even if they were, they're mm -hmm. already thinking ahead. How can I sell this car to this person? And you have plenty of room to negotiate. Monday. Go buy your car on a Monday. I like it a lot. All right. Next up is Wednesday. And you have a couple of categories here. What what What's good for Wednesday? Well, the first thing you want to think about is airfare. If you're booking a trip, Wednesday is the time to do it because the airlines will start putting out fare sales usually Sunday, Monday, and then they'll start matching them. So by Wednesday, according to fairecompare.com, mm -hmm. you've got you know the most number of cheap, cheap seats available right. for booking. Peter Greenberg has talked about this too, and it really is. It can make a significant difference. If, you, if you need to plan ahead, you need to know what you're looking for, but Wednesday's are the day for flights. Now, what else is good, good for Wednesday? And Entertainment deals, by which I mean you know, movies, amusement parks, zoos, things along those lines, uh, mostly because Wednesday tends to be a very low traffic day. So for amusement parks, we've seen that Six Flags offers triple the AAA discount on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And something like AMC, they have their free movie watcher club, and moviegoers get free popcorn on Get out. Days. Get out. You get a free movie watcher club? And you can get popcorn? Free popcorn. It's about five or six bucks here in New York, so Man, pretty that's, good deal. That's, that, you're talking about some serious dough. I like that a lot. All right, now Thursday, what, what's, a, what's a good thing to shop for on Thursday? Thursday is the, the day to go to the mall and, and buy some new clothes. Uh, the retailers, most of their big sales tend to go Friday through Sunday, but right. a lot of them will start them on Thursday as a way to pull more people in. Right. And if you're talking about anyone who's ever been to the mall on the weekend knows that it's you know, tons of crowds, the, the clothing is everywhere, it's very hard to find what you're looking for. Right. Thursday, you're going to find find um, all of the items that are out. They're neatly organized, and there's a lot of them. So good wow. time. Wow. And you would think exactly, and especially for selection, right, the stores are going to be stocked to the you know nth degree with the stuff that they really want to push out. And so if you're looking for size and if all of that stuff matters, Thursday would be the day to go, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, skipping Friday, Saturday. Because Friday and Saturday, is that when everybody shops? That really is when everyone shops. You will see plenty of sales on those days, but it's really whatever the retailer wants to push out. Mm -hmm. So there's no pattern there. Right. Okay. Sunday. Is Sunday a good day for anything? You want to buy your groceries on Sundays. Really? Uh, because that's the day the, the expert advice is to match the store sales with the latest coupons, manufacturer's coupons from okay. your Sunday newspaper. All right. So well, that's when you're going to get them. Duh. Yeah. I mean, really, think about that. You know, that Sunday paper lands, thump on your front door and it's just chock-a-block with coupons. It is, and especially even online you'll find more coupons on sites like redplum.com or uh, smartsource.com. Okay, so you've got a weekly cycle and then there are other cycles including retailers matching up with paydays? They are. What and is that about? Well, that's they know that most people are living paycheck to paycheck these days, so they're anticipating when people are going to get paid and when they're going to hit the store. Right. And they want you, again, to go in and go to their store when and they know you've got money. Right. So you're seeing a lot of retailers that are pushing sales toward the beginning of the month. For those grocery coupons, for example, right. uh, the grocerygame.com found that there are 191% more coupons during that first week than during any other time during the and month. And what was that website again? Grocerygame.com. Grocerygame.com. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. So go first Sunday during the month for your grocery shopping and right. you're pretty much set. Wow. How interesting. Kelly Grant, thank you very much.
We saved some people some money today, and we like that a lot. For more deals by the day, you can check our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.